So I was like, I'm not gonna kiss you. You have a cold sore. And he was like, it's not a cold sore. It's just leftover ketchup from my lunch. <laughs> so then, of course, I was like, hey, um, um, can you hand me that book off the shelf by you? Who, me? No, her. Do you know who I am? Yeah. I just don't remember your name right now. Names, names, names. As a teacher, you have to learn a lot of them, but they are so important. You can't manage a classroom if you don't know your students' names. If you need to reprimand a student, you need to know their name. If you're trying to correct a student's behavior but you don't have their name memorized, the student can get away with a lot more because you have to take time figuring out who they are before you even address their behaviors. If you know a student's name, it gives them a different level of accountability. It's also necessary to know the student's names to build rapport and have relationships with your students, which is also important for classroom management. If you don't learn your students' names, it sends a signal to your students that you don't care enough to put in the effort. But if you learn your students' names quickly and use them often, it will send a message that you do care about them, and not just collectively as a class, but that you care about each individual. Greet your students by name in the hallway. Say a student's name when you ask how they're doing. If a student's having a hard day, look them in the eye, say their name, and ask if they're okay. Making a difference in any student's life starts with learning their name. Welcome to the first day of class. I am Mrs. Wild. I'm going to call Roll. Let me know if you go by a different name or if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. Georgia. I go by Gigi. Don't ever call me Georgia. Okay, thank you. I'll write that down. Gigi. Heathcliff. Here. Thank you. Duke. Here. You can call me Satan. <laughs> um, no. Make sure you call students by the names they prefer to go by within reason. And make sure you learn the correct pronunciation, especially if the name is from a foreign language or tricky for you to pronounce. If memorizing hundreds of students' names every year is difficult for you, see my next video on tricks for memorizing names faster.